In 1990, the office of mayor was up for grabs. I think I was probably the earliest person to declare, uh, but it was not very well noticed, <laughs> except by a few friends and family. Sharon Pratt had never run for office before, but she was involved in politics. She was bright, she was beautiful, she was tough. She was a fresh face. She was the anti-Barry. Sharon Dixon, I'm running for mayor. Maybe it's time for some new blood in this city. I decided that I was gonna run on the notion that it was time to clean house. Then everybody started suggesting that I bring a broom to clean house, and pretty soon they set a shovel. So there was a growing momentum and frustration within the city. Sharon Pratt Dixon, Democrat. On the eve of the Democratic primary, facing a crowded field of candidates, Pratt's odds of winning were long. As we were heading south on 16th Street, the early returns came in and WTOP announced my leave, which was an incredible, unexpected leave. And we all hit the brakes at 16th in Florida and jumped out of our cars and did the victory sign and nobody got mad at us, they just honked back. Voters in the general election delivered a clear mandate. It is time. Sharon Pratt Dixon was not only D.C.'s first woman mayor, she was the first African-American woman to be elected mayor of a major U.S. city. Well, I'm just proud. I mean, just to see her and just to see how powerful she is, especially as a speaker. She represents the women of this city. We like it. I think it was just the notion of you can do anything you set your mind to was the high point. Then reality really embraced us uh, shortly thereafter. For more clips and to watch the full program, visit weta.org slash decades.